Uh, are we sure it's gonna focus on me? Oh my god. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a makeup haul and a ton of you guys have wanted a makeup haul for a really long time and I can't remember the last time I even filmed a haul, let alone a makeup haul. So I would say it's like a Sephora haul, but it's not. It's actually like a bunch of stuff. Hey! <laughs> Ken's is Snapchatting me or something. It's a bunch of stuff. I got a lot from Sephora, but I, okay, I can't, okay. I gotta tell you the truth. Beautycon was last weekend, so I did get some free makeup and I wanted to haul it just so I could like have more products to show you guys but I'll tell you what I paid for and what I didn't pay for and ugh, also can't lie the majority of the stuff um I've already used because I bought this stuff kind of a while ago like I've just been collecting enough so I would have enough products to show you in a haul but I finally have enough I try to keep the packaging for most of them there's like three products that don't have the packaging because I threw it away but everything else I have the packaging for, so let's just get into it. Okay, so the first one I wanna talk about is a product that a YouTuber came out with, and it's so amazing. So if you guys know this lovely, lovely face, Manny came out with a, or I guess he launched, a lipstick with Gerard Cosmetics. It is a hydrating liquid lipstick in the shade Serenity, and I'm wearing it right now. It is so beautiful, oh my gosh. I. I'm obsessed with the color. It's so, so pretty. And also, it's Manny, so you know, gotta represent. And I don't know, it's so amazing. A lot of liquid lipsticks are like really drying on the lips and really crack and are kind of hard to apply because they're so liquidy and they're kind of like a mess. But these are so nice. The formulation is seriously so amazing. The color is perfect and it's not drying at all. But Gerard hooked me up. They sent me all of their liquid lipsticks new Hydra Matte line. I think that's what it's called. And that comes with all three of these and they also sent me a lipstick. They also sent me two more in their Hydra Matte line. I'm losing one. <laughs> and they are in the shade Mercury Rising and Aphrodite. I'm actually gonna swatch these because I'm kind of curious. I haven't tried these out yet. Look at that. Look at those. That's so quite focused. Um, this isn't my camera. This is Kenzie's camera, and that's also her um, living room, living room creds. But uh, that's why it looks better. But I mean, look how cute. And then they also sent me a lipstick. It's in the shade Vintage Rose. Oh, 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 that's pretty. That's pretty too. And then the tutorial that I'm posting next week. Um, I am going to be using Serenity in it, so if you guys want to see um, it like in action, or if you guys also want more of a review of it, I will do that in my next video, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, I'm going to randomly start pulling out stuff. Um, okay, so this first thing, oh, this is boring. I wish I, ugh, I don't even know if I should be hauling this right now because I've used it before. It's the Anastasia Contour Kit, but it is new to me and showing to you guys as like a haul, but I have been using this for about two weeks now, and I have to say that I really, really do like it, but if I were to go back in, I would probably only buy one of these shades again and then just buy like a big Ben Nye banana powder thing, because I really only use the banana powder when I'm blending out my baking technique <laughs> that I use with my powder for my under eyes. I use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I bake that on, and then I'll go over the baking, the setting powder with a Real Techniques blending brush and kind of just buff it out with the banana powder and it really locks in everything and it stays all day and then I contour with this shade because this one if you use too much it's black like literally it turns black but that can be good if you're doing um, like skull makeup if you want to make it look like you're kind of rotting and kind of dead it can also be really good for shadows because if you want to create shadows on your face you use more gray tones so that could be really good for that kind of contouring, but it doesn't really work with my everyday contour routine. And this one is a little bit too orange for me, but this one's kind of like a pinky, very warm toned, bronzing shade, contour shade I should say, so I really like it. I'm like the last beauty guru ever to get this, so that's horrible. All right, next I have lip products from Too Faced. These I did get for free at the Too Faced brunch that I went to, and if you guys watch my vlogs, which I'll have linked down below and one's also on the screen right now, you guys would have seen that I went to a brunch before Beautycon and they had free products, so you know I snatched them up for this haul. So the first one that I got was the Melted Lipstick and if you guys have been following me for a while you know that I absolutely love these lipsticks and this one is in the shade Melted Nude. 
Fun fact, yesterday I was having dinner and I had this swatched on my hand and this guy was like, what did you do to your hand? And I was like, that's a lipstick swatch. And he's like, oh my God, I thought you like burned it. I was like, no. So it's that one right there. It's really hot under all these lights. And then I got the lip injections in it flipped injections extreme and I gotta be honest the only reason I picked this up is because it said extreme on it I have the original lip injections, but I guess I came out with like a new one. That's extreme So oh, yeah, it's like irid. Oh girl. It's like iridescent That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. I got some urban decay things again if you guys watched my vlog you know that I did go to a brunch hosted by Gwen Stefani it was kind of an odd event but it was also really cool at the same time okay yeah so they gave us five things in the goodie bag so again these are all free but then after this the rest was all paid for I feel like I'm like oh this is all free makeup look at all my free makeup but everything after this is paid for okay so first they gave us an original Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion I'm probably gonna give this to a friend or something because in my last video <laughs> Because <laughs> I said that in my last video, I've been using a lot of concealer. Well, not a lot of. I've been using concealer and powder as my primer, and I like it a lot more than any other eyeshadow primer. And they also gave us two eyeshadow colors. I don't know how to get this out of the packaging. Oh my god, I think I just messed it up even more. So this one is in the shade Peace, and it's just a really pretty blue color. Do you guys want like a tutorial with blues and stuff? If I like am blinking really weird with my right eye, it's because my contact like every single night at like 9 p.m. It starts like flipping on itself and it's doing that a lot right now and every time I blink my contacts kind of just like doing flips. And then this one is in the shade, oh my god that's such a long name, Psychedelic Sister. Oh god that's really pretty. Really really pigmented. I feel like I should have known that it's Urban Decay. Let's be real. Whoa that's pretty. You guys want a tutorial with that? Maybe I can do one with the blue and the purple. I'll have to play around and I'll post pictures. Oh my god, I just break it. Oh my god. I'll play around. I'll post pictures on my Snapchat if you guys want to see it. And then they also gave us two 24-7 liners. The first one is a hot pink color, which is super fun. This one is in the shade Woodstock. I remember Makeup by Tiffany D did like a pink liner tutorial and then it always made me want to have a pink liner but I never went out and bought it it's that one right there but now I have one so now I can do one too and then they also gave us one in the shade I think zero yeah zero which is just like their wait is it perversion or zero it's zero perversions like their darkest darkest black but zero is like black okay moving on everything else I have bought so first oh I use this in my getting ready for beauty con video it's the makeup forever artist plexi gloss in the shade 200 number 200 whatever like i said i've been in a huge lip gloss phase and i saw this and i really wanted to try it and i really really like it i got this because of the brush because i don't know if you guys can like see that look this is an autofocus camera <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see that but with this brush it like has a divide in the middle and they say that it's to make it more precise when you apply it on your lips but I don't really understand how that works because like your lip is one solid thing like unless you do your lips at the same time which I've never seen anyone do it's just a waste of effort to really put a divide in the applicator next I got this makeup forever star power powder something like that eyeshadow and I got this because I was in a phase where I really liked light makeup I'm still in that like dewy fresh face looking phase even though I have like a lot of makeup on right now. This is the number 947 and it reminds me a lot of Sin from the Urban Decay Naked palette but like that hit puberty. This is the NARS eyeshadow in Callisto. I again use this in my getting ready video. If you guys can tell when I get new makeup I get excited and I only use Okay well that's staying there if you guys can tell I get excited when I get new makeup and I use it all as fast as I can so this one again is just another foiled looking eyeshadow I feel like I still have lip gloss in my hair it's so beautiful like look at that so 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 pretty okay moving right along I feel like I shouldn't even haul this product because I literally have been ranting about it it's the makeup forever pro sculpting duo Oh, goodbye, literally goodbye. I drown myself in this product. Like I literally 
drench myself in it. It's just so pretty. I just, I could literally go on and on and on about this highlight, but I'm actually really stupid. And I bought this highlight the exact same day that I bought the Hourglass highlight. I don't know why I did this because I used this once and it was just not the right time to buy this palette. Like there's right times and there's bad times and it was a bad time, but it's, I'm glad that I have it. So it comes with three really, really beautiful shades. I bought it for the shade in the middle because I wanted that one. It was incandescent, incandescent light and I was gonna buy just that one, but Sephora didn't have it. That's why they trick you so they make you buy the entire palette. I'm almost done. I have three more lip products and I'm gonna start with the two embarrassing ones. Okay, I need to like tell you guys a story. In eighth grade, I was in the lip gloss phase that I'm in right now, and I just couldn't get enough of lip gloss. And Juicy Star 07 was obsessed with Strawberry Fizz. So I thought I had a bug on my nose, but it was just my nose ring. She was obsessed with Strawberry Fizz and um, Candy Baby Beauty Rush lip glosses from Victoria's Secret. The other night, me, Kenzie, and Alexis Gisal, or I guess Alexis Gisal, Kenzie, and I, sorry, Grandpa, went shopping, and we went into Victoria's Secret. I saw these, and I was like, I'm going to relive eighth grade. So that's what I did, and I relived eighth grade. And I got um, two lip glosses, and honestly, I'm really happy that I did it, because they smell fantastic. These lip glosses are good because they make your lips look wet. And that's what I like in lip glosses. When my lips literally look like they are drowning in water, I really love that look. They look wet and glossy. And these lip glosses honestly give you that look. And it's, you know, that like lip gloss look has kind of gone away. Lip glosses are always like, oh, we have all this color in ours and we have this in ours and this. I'm like, I just want my lips to look wet. And then the last product in my Sephora bag is a lipstick that I threw the packaging out for. This is a MAC lipstick in the shade Fresh Brew. Yeah, Fresh Brew. And I got this because my one friend, Lily, from back where I live, she always wears like this perfect lip shade that I want in my life, a toffee brown sort of color, and it's so, so pretty. And I remember Jacqueline Hill used this in a tutorial, and I was like, hmm, I should probably go try it. So I got it. I haven't used it, <laughs> but it's like, it's a good brown color. It's right there. The only thing is that this is a luster, I think. Yeah, it's a luster, so it's going to be a little bit more sheen than like a matte or an Amplify lipstick by MAC would be, but nonetheless, I bought it. <laughs> but that was my really big collective makeup haul. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Sorry that it is so long, but I really did have a good time filming it for you guys, and let me know in the comments down below what makeup product you guys have your eye on, because... I need to know. Also, my next video is going to be a back to school video and I asked you guys like on Twitter when you guys go back to school and a lot of you guys said on Monday, which terrifies me. Like, I'm really sorry if you have to go back to school on Monday. Um, but let me know when you guys are going back because like I don't want to do back to school videos if it's going to be too late. You know what I mean? Okay, this camera is like flashing at me so I think I'm just going to like sign off right now. So subscribe, like, comment, uh, subscribe, don't tell you to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.